My top tip is to switch energy suppliers. Don't stay loyal um, because there are cheaper energy suppliers out there. I would advise that people ensure that their homes are well insulated, both with loft insulation and cavity wall insulation if possible. There are some really good schemes from some of the energy companies that if you are behind, you can apply for some help and if you're successful, they'll write off the debt for you. It's important that you ventilate your home properly, opening windows and not blocking vents. This just ensures that no mould is able to grow and keep the damp away from the property. We also recommend that you invest in some seals and draft proofing just to make sure that any of those cold drafts are not getting into your house and making you colder. If people are in receipt of certain benefits, there's a grant called the Warm Home Discount that they can apply for, which gives £140 to help with their bills. One of the other things that um, we can do during the home visit is add people to the priority service register, which basically gives protection to certain households. Um, if there was a power cut or if there was, say, someone with a visual impairment, the energy company can send out um, bills in larger font size bit of protection for those households. It is important that people think about their energy behaviours, so this is things like turning lights off when you leave a room, turning appliances off standby, only filling the kettle up with the amount of water that you need, shut your curtains at night to make sure you keep the warmth in but open them during the day to benefit from the sun. We also advise that you don't use radiators to dry your washing and you don't block them with things like furniture. This just makes sure that any heat that's radiating from them is able to warm your home rather than just going into the clothes.